Right now we are starting with Mission Concepcion. As you can see, the mission is quite old. Don't know the exact date that it goes back, but I'll find that out for you. Absolutely amazing structure. And it is still standing and holds masses on Sundays right here at the mission. So all these missions are still very active. Let's go ahead and go inside and see all the beauty. Here we are looking at the Mission Concepcion again. From this side this time, as everyone is gathering for a Spanish Mass. so beautiful here at Mission San Jose. As you hear the beautiful music and they celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, all throughout the year, there's a celebration going on. Look at this beautiful architecture. As we look up and see the beautiful dome, It's a small church, but a beautiful church. And mariachis, young and old, they come to play every Sunday at the Spanish Masses. Ingrained in tradition. In honor of the Grotto of St. Bernadette which is actually the saint my daughter picked out for her First Holy Communion. Such a beautiful grotto. Here we're filming the backside of the church, of the mission, I should say. This is Mission Concepcion. Very beautiful. Architecture is just amazing. In the part of the courtyard behind the church, we find a beautiful sanctuary for the patron saint of Texas, Fray Antonio. Just a gorgeous little garden area right behind the church itself. There's also many other buildings, again, that were used for the lay people and the missionaries that would work the mission to bring Christianity to the Indians. Another beautiful area that we find right here among the buildings that were used to house everyone that helped with the mission. We are here at the San Jose Mission and I can't wait to show you. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful place. So let's take a look. As you can see, the church is, or the mission itself, is completely blocked off. So, almost like a fort style, it's completely surrounded with buildings all the way around. And here is the beautiful Mission Church. Currently, we have a Spanish Mass going on inside, but we will go in. Let's go and check out some of the outer buildings. And then we'll go inside the actual 
mission itself. One of the heavy gates that guarded the mission that would be open only during the day for farmers to come and go. There are also places where the Indians were housed. As you see, the doors are very small and everything is made out of a stone. Just to really take a deep look at the construction that they came up with, just to make a hint. If you look at the doors, this is a pin that was put in, wrapped around, and then secured on the one side. Just amazing the technology that they came up with just to secure the doors. Of course, this is a modern lock. However, you can see how they used different pieces of metal just to make the door a little more sturdy. You can also see a huge latch that was made here to secure the door. And again, another hinge. You can see where it goes into the stone and also on the door just to secure everything nice and tight. As we enter inside, you can see all of the firewood that is stacked up. The beautiful fireplace. The original artwork and candle holders. The actual ceilings. These are all original. continue on. Here is one of the priest quarters. It was actually the Franciscans that were here to teach the ministry to the Indians. This is how Christianity was brought to the Indians. like this is one of the kitchens. Here's the attire that they would be wearing at that time, back in that era. It was mainly the Indians that actually worked at the missions and the Franciscans that brought the ministry. And here we're looking at an actual replica of the mission itself. Everything was done inside the courtyard of the mission. Here's another great room where they would gather to eat, education, different things that they would do. As you can see, all the beautiful artwork that was found after years of taking the debris and dust off. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And this was all done by the Franciscans and the Indians. Here we are in the library, and these are the original walls that are now being uh, conserved. So they're trying to keep these walls and all the painting that was done way back in the 1700s. As you can see, there's quite a bit. 
very, very beautiful. Originally there was a real candle there. Very gorgeous. Now there is an audible tour that you can take and everything is free. So please take the time to do that. You'll learn so much. Here, here's the well where they would draw their water. We're gonna continue our walk. Here we find uh, what we would call a pizza oven, kind of looking. Uh, this is where actually where all the meals were prepared. Uh, the women would actually make things on stone, place them inside this oven, and they would bake it, and the smoke would come out through the back. Because there was really no cooking inside. Inside was used for shelter, for sleeping, um, resting, that type. Here at the very entrance to Mission San, San Jose, you can actually see holes in the walls that show you where the cannons or guns would be put through to protect themselves. And it's all the way down. You can see some of the residue from the powder. Now the Indians would live in these small homes inside the mission to protect themselves from the Comanches and other Indians that would attack them. Again, let's look at this hardware. Just absolutely amazing. So there's a door within a gate. You can see that. Imagine all of this being done by hand back in those days. The work is just amazing. Okay, we're going to get ready to go in. As you can see, James is over there, and uh, we're going to go in and actually see how they lived inside one of these rooms. Okay, so as we enter in and we turn, actually going to see where they had all of the machinery, the gunnery. Um, these are the holes that they would shoot out of. They would store extra ammo and guns up here at the top. But you can see where they would actually shoot. Right next door, we're walking into what would be a typical room for one of the Indians, or the Indian families, I should say, not one, but several. Imagine a family trying to live in here. And how grateful they must have been just to have this. The thick, thick walls. It's very nice and cool in these rooms. Just rows of these places where the Indians lived. Lots of the ovens outside. Grounds where they would wash laundry and prepare meals. You can see throughout the compound. As we look in front here, right off of the church, we find the residents that were provided for the missionaries and the lay assistants. The church was not constructed until 1785. As we walk close to this window, this window is known as the Rose Window. 
where the priest actually presented the Eucharist right here. It was believed that many events were circled around this window and the mystery of why it was called the Rose Window might have been something to do with Saint Rose. Straight ahead of us is where all the grain was stored that were rationed off to the Indians for bread. Here at the grounds behind the mission walls, we find the mill. This is the first mill that was ever in Texas. As you can see, there was a huge aqueduct behind that would run in and help to turn everything. to make the masa. This is actually where the grain would flow down to the wheel and be turned by the water down below and the masa would start to form. And here you see more of the aqueduct that would run into the mill to help with turning of the wheel. As we look out over the grounds of Mission San Juan, we are told that only a third of the mission's grounds still stand today. All right, we've made it over to Mission San Juan. So this is the third mission on our journey today. And right here is where the trading post is. Uh, the mules would come in from Mexico City with all the goods and they would be taken off the mules and stored here at Mission San Juan. Here we go. As you see here, this is a site of a burial ground. As we learn more about the San Juan mission, we find that this ruins over here was the ruins of the very first church. And as we come around, then this beautiful mission was built here and called the San Juan mission. These were the gates that early travelers would first come to. They were monitored by gatekeepers who lived in this small stone room right here off to the right and also over to the left. Outside of the beautiful mission gates, we see a glorious cross. As we enter the doors into the church itself. As we come out of the church, we walk the grounds and notice that 
on the ground itself is actually the Stations of the Cross. These are the original Stations of the Cross. Also see the beautiful statue of Our Lady of Guadalupe. It was honored. The building here in front of us is the priest home and still is today actually and as we go over you'll see that is the little gift shop right there all right we're at mission el padre and here is one of the barracks that they actually lived in um, and you can see that there was one right after another however the walls are no longer up over the years they have dilapidated and fallen down but this is how small their living quarters were the mission was actually founded in 1731 and the school itself of Espada was rebuilt in 1932 and uh, as you can see not very much of it is still around beautiful mission though. this is where all the greenery and everything that they harvested would be kept of course back then it had a ceiling and walls everything attached to it as we look down here this would be the blacksmith area and we come across we're looking at the original part of the church. This is where the church used to be. And then as we look over, this is now the mission here. And we'll be going over there soon. Beautiful courtyard, which now holds the gift shop. And then as we look around, when we look at the church doors and up to the beautiful cathedral. Beautiful, beautiful grounds. Here is a side view of the mission. We are so blessed that these places are still here for generations to see. May they continue to be in our prayers. Okay, so we're on our way back and we're on the San Antonio River Walk. And this is one of the decorative pieces that is along the ride. Very, very cool. Well, that was a lot of fun. 20 mile bike ride on our e-bike. So we're probably going to be a little sore because we don't do that very often. But I hope you enjoyed the video and the tour of the missions. Don't forget to check out our Alamo video. That's the fifth mission to complete the set of San Antonio missions. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the little bell notification so you know when we're sending out a new video. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook also, Leap of Faith RV. See you on the road.